Hello everybody, hope you've had a good day. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Or welcome to if you're new. And if you did if you do enjoy, leave a like and subscribe as always appreciate it, I know it helps. And yeah, this before we jump in to go to Asgard, I'm actually gonna get another EC weapon. Because when I was look, I literally just in between this episode and last, I had a look online about the EC weapons, and then it turns out there's actually a fourth one, a bow. Uh, I did not know that at all, obviously. So, and it turns out I don't know how, how to get it, sort of, like eighty percent. But I'm not going to be able to get it for a while, I don't think. All I know, all I know is it's on this little island. There's an ore here. Can I just show where it is all at the top? On this little island. You need a scalibur. There is actually an exploit for it. But it most likely has been patched by now and I don't really care. I, I, I literally have a scalibur so I can get it. Let me just. Yeah, I thought so. I have to wait until. Yeah. I'm just going to. I'm equip. And we wait. It's something to do with the sun setting. If I, if I just do some meditating. This might put it all the way to night time. Yep. Yeah, okay. I don't know, it's something to do with like, the sun setting that you have to get it at the right sort of fucking. And um, be patient and wait for the sun to set in the west as the sun leaves. I don't think I can cheat it like this, can I? I think it's just me trying to see if I can cheat it or not. Yeah. I have to, it has to be the sun setting. Okay. As in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, how long a day? How long is a day? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, it's going to be 40 something fucking minutes.
to see if this will work. It's something to do with like you save and you load or something like that. Cause um uh, fuck off. That, that's actually no, no, you're actually not gonna make it. Anymore. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, let's take a look at another video. No video, just another. Sorry, okay, to get to you for okay, you mash melee attack and strike the rock several times, then enter the menu. Create a manual save and then immediately load that save. One, two, three, four, five. Probably been patched. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty quick. Yeah, it's in bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's. I literally need to wait until it's fucking. I hit the wrong fucking button then. Um. Well, I'm just gonna have to have got this out then, and you're gonna have to wait. I'm gonna be waiting here for like half an hour then. That's fine, I suppose. So uh, I'll see you all in half an hour. Right, welcome back. We're about there. I have... I've been swinging a couple of times just to make sure, but we... We are literally there. And we're basically we're literally right there.
And that's actually a really good bow. Let's just move everything from the venerable. And that was about actually 20 minutes, by the way, of me waiting. And as it turns out, by the way, I was actually doing the exploit way wrong. I should have looked a bit more than what it was. Um, yeah, it was only subtly wrong. Like it wasn't like, oh my god, it's entirely massive. How have I done this wrong? It was, it was. You were supposed to do what I did. Hit, it, hit it about a few times. Save, load the save. Hit it a few more times. Save, load the save, and it should be broken. But then um, I, if it did, if I would have missed the timing, then I think I would have given the exploit another go. But it, it doesn't matter. Trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svatalfame hold some other meaning? But let's go back to Alton. My bones by the fire. Let's finish Dad, it. My thoughts for a moment. Probably should, as I say, get on the horse. It doesn't work that way because once again, if you're on the, you know, some sort of settlement, they don't work. You should remember it's the one that's highlighted that I need to drink. Yep, return to Asgard. Let's say this, because I've done Asgard already, it should just be a quest. So what I mean is that is that it it doesn't matter. There's nothing for me to like, like side quests, wealth. All that is done. I, mean, I think I did all of that. There might have been something I might have missed. Or I did not miss. Couldn't do. Because it wasn't. Maybe it was part of this quest or something. That looks different. The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. Ooh. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt. Till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Aww. Ivaldi. You may go. Back to my forge? Yes, until your debt to me is paid in full. It was the dwarves who made the world a trading post. At least be trading goods, not people, slave master. I'll be glad to be mean? back on the ground, away from these angry skies. Yeah, at times, Harvey, Odin is a dick. It's like, he, he is a dick at times. I did finish everything, yeah. I did, yeah. Alright, shortcut cross here. Good cross. So this might even be another short episode, because I don't know. <laughs> it most likely might be a short episode. Because I don't really feel like starting... Not starting, really, is it? Well, technically it is, actually, because we, we've finished everything. There's like no real... There literally is no, like, quests left over for me to do. All the rest of it is literally me starting a new quest. So technically I could do, like, one of them, but... The... Um... 
the quest with this area is off limits. Who the fuck am I paint? Oh uh, him. So the quest with Cassandra from Odyssey, the crossover. there. Oh my god, I didn't switch the fucking thing back. Alright. Oh but the, so the Cassandra one is an actual like area. So that won't be like it's. That'll be like its own separate one, depending. Because I, I do have a map that I use to look at times for things. Especially if it's a game like this, I do. So there is going to be. Is an area, but it doesn't look like there's a lot in it. So that is, that's a little bit better. But there is. Since it's an area, it's most likely going to be its own thing. Maybe two parts, depending on time. So that's why I'd prefer that to be by itself. It's the same with like. Because we're starting things. And we're actually starting things. It's not like um, previously when we go to start a quest. We can then sort of clear up a bunch of the things that we're already in, if you know what I mean. It's all it's all brand new areas. And in fairness, the ones that I've got, they aren't actually areas. That's that that's sort of is what I'm referring to, because they're not actual areas. Because I know the challenge. I don't really know what the challenge is. I know it's it's not like uh Teleporting me, going me to new areas and stuff like that. It's so I don't really know well about it. I, I just, yeah, but the river raids, I do know it's like new area, and we do actually just do raids. But it's, that, that's all it is, it's just raids. Sir, are you near? So it's like there's no, or I'd ever, ever just do all those and start from the, not begin. No, we we'll just start. We'll start in one episode. And go from there. Harvey, you're a balm to my eyes. My brother. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start, it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty That's... have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever living. Oh, he can't die. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he's safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon. Yeah. That is all. No harm will befall the poor Finlir. That's how he loses his hand. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Logi tell you? He did. It's a fine name. Yes. I remember it here. the tear. He sacrificed his hand to put the cord fans. around the wolf. See, that's what I do feel bad at times, but Henry. it is an. I'm sorry, but it is unnecessary. I wish you well, great wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. Yeah, the that's the problem. Worry. About your growing size and strength. Oh, okay. I did. Oh my God. And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Oh my Tommy God. Brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves, a beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this. And you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. It's it delicious. I smell something sour. Where the collar? 
I'll return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki. Have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. Oh. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. See, that's what I mean. It's like I don't blame him, but it just it's literally fate. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Wait, are we are we lying then? Be swift, Harvey. It's the key. It, it, ah, it isn't, is it? It's, it's a bad one. Burns. Harvey? Oh, it's gonna be chaining that way. Kind of bad because it, it, it's we just tricked him, but it's it is meant to actually so he can't move, so everyone feels safe. From him. That's the problem, though, know, in the face. Yeah. Ah, that's that's the problem. I feel I really do feel bad for it's necessary because it be an age of stories, an age of wolves. Where did you hear these words of prophecy? Probably from his dad. I'd like to say this is maybe a tad bit buggy. It's just a tad. Yeah, just a tad. Had bit not like connecting with a couple of the attacks. I think it's because of how skinny he is. So they've got like a weird hitbox on him. Come on, I can get a few hits in before he. I gotta get another bind in. Yeah, definitely a bit of a glitch going on with it. Then comes the second great sorrow. When the army goes to fight the wolf. How do you know these things? This is the tale I tell you. Each night I go in the dark. Before I sleep and dream of tasting your 
your flesh. Yeah. It's the irony of fate, you ended up making... But because of fate you knew... The, that's the irony, but you ended up making the thing that was destined to kill you. All because you knew fate, all because you knew it. And technically speaking, Loki is also to blame for it, because he knew of it all. And he chose to do it. How do you feel? You're making my life so much more. Alright. Find him, please find him. We, we can't we couldn't really show him that much compassion because once again every every AC knows about it although I'm very sorry for Tia though I could not strike the killing blow all my oaths remain unbroken anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred that's true actually surprising enough very much keeping his word though Harvey's if very I could have done this any other way And Harvey does feel really bad. There about was that. no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate or no, you made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki. But I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. Come I do, I do feel bad. The healing hands of Freya can help you. I mean, on the technicality, I said literally Loki is literally the one purely responsible for that. For the whole thing. I know Loki. I know Loki's getting pissed at Odin and all this, all this time. But oh. have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Ooh. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. Oh my and the god. The great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. And you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go. To the life tree we shall one day return. Mind oh. and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. <laughs> it is done. Time to face our end. Holy oh, shit. That was cool. I preferred that one to the Animus one. To be honest, I preferred that to the Animus one. It was more detailed, more flushed out. Mm. 
And that's literally that one, yeah. I mean, yeah. Wake up. So this is what I mean, as I said the other, because of the quest we're at now, there's not really any quest that I could ideally start properly within like half an hour to an hour. Awakened with more to share, I hope. Okay. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? The truth. I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed. Yeah, we did. Could not kill the beast. In the earth. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. Was it my life? This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by. I could have said something. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful. But I did not regret my indifference. Oh. A swig of poison that drinks selfishness unmeasured. Say I out. witnessed a final vision from the Nornir. The coming of Ragnarok. Didn't care about the two fire and ash. A chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Genungagap. Gungu. Though you were ready for the, the coming storm. Eight of us. We drank the mead. Then stood and marched to our doom. That was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm Odin. I can make sense of no more. I see. No, you can. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To mm. do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand, or I hope I do. I mean, how does she not understand Thank by now? I mean... These new visions of Odin trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svata so no, we didn't get anything new. So, yeah, that's that one gone. That's that. Raven. Oh. Wait, what? Well, I mean, okay. That's interesting. Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire. Gather so maybe the last, the other one isn't. Sorry, I'm I'm now really confused because I swore it said that the raven and the cuckoo was the end. And I'm now having a look. Oh, wait. Huh. 
Oh, okay. No. Okay, so it is. The Raven and the Cuckoo literally is, apparently, it's like the second to last one. It's the last chapter thing. So I do that one, and then that's literally the ending. That one. Okay. I didn't read anything else about what it's about. I was just, like, looking. Yeah. So I was correct. But, as I have said, I'm unsure. But I don't want to start. I don't want to start, because these are all literally, these are apparently, like, the basic DLC type things. So like, cause that's a free DLC, and that's a free DLC, and that one is a free DLC. Like, it's the, like, the, the crossover one, whatever it is. And then the River Raids, and then the Challenge. They are all free DLCs for me to do. So it makes sense. I've done the main camp. The main campaign is done. It's done. Everything else is now DLC based. So I do. It does not make sense for me to start the DLC in this part now. It's regrettable, and I'm upset. I'm. I'm gonna have to. Uh, this is gonna be a very short episode then because of that. But there's. It's, there's nothing else I can, I don't want to, like, I could say, I could, I could do one of them, but it, I don't want to. I would rather very much click River Raids, for instance. Next week, we do River Raids. We could do, we could literally just do River Raids, see how many I can get done. If I get all of them done within the part, I might just simply call it all River Raids. I don't know how long each one will take. But I'm, I'm, and it's the same with the challenge. I would rather not start them in this part because they are DLC. Like, I know they won't take as long as the main campaign at all. It'll probably be two episodes, maybe three for each one. But I don't want to start in this episode. I'm just not explaining to you, by the way. It's first thing I'm like, well, shut up then. I'm just explaining my, my mind. I've got to say it out loud as well to myself. Otherwise, I can't envision it. So, yes. That is what I'm going to do. Also, I don't I didn't notice about it, but I'm missing an Orlog player. I've got an achievement, and it's... I haven't got the achievement for the Orlog player, so I'm going to have to have a look. But, um... Yes. Next week, we're going to start with River Raids. And we'll see how it goes. Like, we'll see how it goes, so it'll be, uh, so we're going to see how it goes, how long it is, and how many episodes it could be. It's most likely going to be two or three, and then I'll do the challenge, uh, after the River Raids, and then once the challenge is done, I will then go with, uh, Ireland, get the Irish Ireland done, then when Ireland's done and I come back, I'll do the Distorted Dream, and then Distorted Dream will go to Paris. And then we'll finish off with Ragnarok. And then, of course, the final will be that and that. So I apologize if it's a bit shorter than normal, but that's what's going on. So if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. It's always appreciated. It helps. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!